Here's that garden hose connection, and look what they've got. They've got some duct tape all taped around here because this got kinked, and that was their way of fixing it. So because I'm here, I'm going to fix that. Now you could get a hose, and you could replace this whole piece if you wanted. Then you've got to undo this here and get a whole new hose section up, maybe a, just a short piece or something. But instead of that, I've decided, I think it's still flexible enough to cut this off and then to put a new hose piece on the very end, you know, with the screw on and then put it on there. And they've got some clamps, some clamp type at the store that'll clamp on there. But my suggestion is, before you go to the store, if you're going to fix your hose or something, cut a piece of it off first because there's different size hoses so you want to get the right connection at the store I went to the hardware store and I found an end and it's got just a little sleeve that fits down in there like that and then this little clamp just fits on there they have different ones at the store, so you just have to look and see what they have. They had another one that the clamp was plastic with two screws and went on there, and I'm glad I took the hose, the last little bit of hose, because even with the clamp tight, I could still slip it on and off, uh, the, the clamp part, you know. And so I'm like, oh, I'm glad I brought the hose, because some hoses are a little fatter than others. Okay, so you just have to look at the store and, and decide decide how you're going to do it and stuff. I think I'll do it that way. And then I'll just push this on there. Let's see if I can get it on there a little tighter. I'm just going to hold this on there and hit it. That looks tight enough. And now I can put it now I can go ahead and tighten it and hold it up like, like how I want it. Looks like maybe I can push it in a little bit more. Figure out where, where I want that little clamp to be and clamp it down with the screwdriver. And I just cut the hose. How did I cut the hose? If you don't have some cutters that same length, you know, you might have to cut it off with a uh, with like a sheetrock knife or something, but you could cut yourself with that. So I just took a hacksaw blade like this and cut it right off. It works really good, believe it or not. Just a separate hacksaw blade like this. You don't, you don't need to uh, have it in an actual hacksaw. And I found that just that separate little hacksaw blade has really come in handy for me on other occasions. So I just keep it in my my little box of tools. I'll look at that, line that up where I think it needs to be. And I'll tighten that down. So they've got three different types of fittings like this at the store. You know, you just have to look at one. This one was like four bucks or three fifty or so. It's like that. That's plenty tight, I think. You know, worst case scenario, you can tighten that up a little bit more after you get it on the hose. Don't forget to put your little washer back in there. Like that. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and screw it up in here. See where the clamp is? I can just hold the hose down however I want if I don't want to see that clamp. I think that looks pretty good. Well, should we check it out? Should we turn it on? And see if it's gonna leak. We might as well. I always like to check things out before I call things good. 
hate to tell my mom it's fixed and then find out it's not. Well, there you go. Looks like it's fixed. It's not dripping or anything. The last time, because that whole thing was on there, it was it was making a huge racket. Go ahead and turn it off. Now this this has a separate end on the hose bibs. So when I turn it off, water's going to come out of here. I'll bet. And it's not because anything's leaking. It's just the way it is. Let's see if it does it. There it is. See that? That type of hose connection on the end does that. Not the one that I put on, but the one that was on the house. It's, a, it's called a little backflow preventer. Like if you have a sewer issue, you don't have a problem with it coming out through your hose. And if you've never seen one of those, they have them at the store. You screw this end on. This is a separate little end that you screw onto the hose bib. And sometimes there's a nut on there, a little set screw that you, you turn and tighten on there. And actually you tighten it and it snaps off that way. It's designed to where you're not supposed to be able to unscrew those. Okay, so I got it on. Now as I turn it off, it actually lets the water out. There's little holes that go all the way around it. And it's designed that way. Okay, well, I guess I can cross that one off my list. He's been watching me all day long.